we're going to be demonstrating the stair tread insulation using Genovation's deck flooring. We are going to go over the requirements for the framing, the fastening, and how to trim out your stair treads once finished. Let's start with the framing requirements. The framing requirements for Genovation stair treads is pressure treated lumber stringers cut like we have here. Their placement is a maximum of 16 inches or less to give the support needed for the tread. We have our rises cut at 7 inches and our treads cut at 10, 10 and a quarter. We're going to lay two boards on each tread and that will be our stair treads on each location. Before you cut your Genovation's deck flooring to go on your stair stringers, you want to make sure that these boards acclimate to the outside temperature before cutting and putting them in place. That will help with expansion contraction. The first board on your tread, what we've done here is we've ripped off the tongue on a table saw. That will go up against the riser like so. We've planned for an inch and a quarter, inch and a half overhang for our C-channel finish. We'll fasten this first board from the top using our stair plug kit. We've used a 5-8 Foster bit to drill a top hole in the surface here. Drop our cylinder down and we'll be able to fasten it with our Genovation screws. And then we'll also screw it here on the screw flange. That holds your first tread board in place. The outside tread board, we've actually taken and ripped the screw flange off on a table saw. That will go in like this and also fasten from the top using our stair plug kits. And that's how you fasten the two stair treads. We finished fastening our two deck boards on our top tread. Now we just need to finish trim the ends of the tread and the bull nose on the front. We have a couple of options to finish off the ends of the boards, one being our C-channel. It gives you about a one inch coverage on the top, it has a wood grain surface to match the boards. You just cut at the length of your width of your tread and you fasten it underneath with three quarter inch Genovation screws. A second option would be our trim strip. It also fastens from the bottom goes on the same fashion. It just gives you another option as far as the look once it's on. It's a little bit smaller surface area versus the C-channel. The front of the bull nose of the tread, we have our step trim which is a T-shaped piece. It's a pressure fit in the bull nose like this. And to hold it in place we use a little bit of our Genovation's vinyl sealant in the tongue of the tread and just press the trim strip or the step trim in place and that's how you finish off the front of the tread. A second option you can use for stair tread insulation is placing a, one of our starter strips up along the riser to start your tread insulation, fastening that starter at every stringer location and then go ahead and leave the tongue on your first board with automatic spacing alignment. Just push it into your starter, fasten your board and your screw flange at every stringer. And then the outside board on your tread has to have the screw flange ripped off on a table saw, put it into place, drill your 5 8 hole for your screw plug in between the ribs to fasten the outside tread. That gives you a little bit different application. You're not drilling as many holes in the top surface. You'd still trim it out with your C-channel or your trim strip and still use the step trim on the bull nose. Just make sure you're cutting your stringers long enough at 10 and 3 quarters to get the proper overhang for your local codes. We finish our stair tread insulation. We've got them trimmed out. Now what we need to do is put our riser material on. We're going to use for that is our trim board. We offer this in 12 inch widths so you can rip this on a table saw in half to work perfectly on our 6 inch rise here once we put our treads on. This trim board is fastened with inch and a quarter 
pan head screws, truss head screws. I look using today is a closely colored match screw. But before you fasten them, we've pre-drilled our holes a little bit larger than our fastener to allow for expansion contraction. You won't want to place these holes any closer than a half inch to the edge of your board and you want to be up at least an inch above so you have clearance for your deck boards. So you put two fasteners at every stringer location. Now that we completed our stair tread installation, let's do a quick review. The stair treads are made up of two deck boards. Seat channel on the end, step trim on the bull nose, and stair plugs to fasten. Each stair tread must be supported by stringers on a maximum of 16 inches on center. Your stringers are cut with a 7 inch rise and a run to allow for a 3 quarter inch overhang. Make sure you're putting your screws in securely, not loose. Don't put them on an angle, you got to make sure to put them in straight. You want to use a 5 8 Foster bit when drilling your holes for your screw plugs, not a regular drill bit. That will give you a nice clean circular hole to have a nice clean finish. If you have any further questions about the stair tread insulation, give us a call on our 1-800 number or visit our website. You can email us and inquire from there. Generations PVC decking and rail distinctly different.